Alright, so basically I just wanted to go over this real quick to make sure you guys are all aware because I have been getting a lot of questions regarding this. Now, I haven't gone and fully completed everything, I'll make that clear, but I can at least tell you a quick little fact of the century, which is always true uh, when it comes to these mission events. Then I will jump into it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. A lot of go over, so I hope you're ready for it. And let's again hop into it. First things first, with the latest update, they did go and release us this. Yes, the banner is now here. This was the banner that was leaked. That's why leaks are at least a good thing. So we have an idea of what's happening. Um, and again, it got it right, right? Most of the leaks always come true. Sometimes things randomly get added in, but most of the time it's accurate, right? The only time it got added in uh, was that one Momo thing and that literal one um, parallel world thing, which we didn't expect to release. It was not on a standard release day. It was just a Christmas special, um, I think, right? Christmas specials with the holiday draws, what they called it. Uh, so that's what they did there. But for again, the leaks, accurate. Roll is going to be Aizawa, or it is Aizawa. We have over here the Aizawa character, the Kung Fu outfit, and the Kung Fu outfit for both, again, Kaminari and Aizawa. Very cool stuff. Remember, you might not want to summon right now. If you want to, go ahead. I'm going to stop you, obviously, right? But remember what's next. It's going to be a freaking character. So you kind of want your uh, your currency to be ready. Remember, two weeks from today, we're going to have our official, official release of the one and only twice. Two weeks away. Again, mark your calendar for around the 21st, 22nd, depending on time zones and whatnot. That is when we're going to have our character, uh, potentially the 20th, because, I don't know, time zones are weird. So keep that in mind. That's what's going to happen there. Uh, twice coming very soon and he is like the highlight right him white haired dobby and then the skin for twice that's what we're going to be getting so up to you if you want this but that is there that exists correct that that exists next up over here with the event mission they've relaunched this event over here and they've changed a lot of stuff they've changed a lot of stuff here actually uh, so with this event shop if you were to hop to it they decreased the pricing so in the original mission event like i remember the first one i don't know if the second one had it there but the first one let's go with that one uh with that one the Uraraka, like, outfit, emote, and everything was, like, 2,000, 2,000, or, like, 2,000, 1,000, and then 2,000, 1,000. Here they did 1,800, 1,400. So they definitely <laughs> kind of lowered the cost here a lot uh, to make these things like that. Uh, they also definitely nerfed the cost over here so you don't have to suffer. It's 500, 500, 500. I haven't yet done most of the missions, so, again, I am almost certain, almost certain, let's make this clear, yes, there are some issues with the uh, with the missions. I've seen that, right? If you were to hop over to the missions and you were to scroll all the way down, they went and put the casual wear uh, Uraraka, casual wear Momo. So that's what we should have, right? Just two things, maybe two more. They added Denki Kaminari, Shota Aizawa, Shota Todoroki, Katsuki Baku, Izuku Midoriya, Kung Fu outfits. For all of them, they added it. So in order to finish one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the challenges, you were to have basically the skins for those characters. Now, this game sucks at giving us like the amount we get per challenge, but I'm almost certain, I'm almost certain, whatever they give you with the other things, cause like the main thing of this, like the main amount comes from like the harder challenges and getting them again. Uh, so like, for example, this stuff over here is where like the real like thing will come from. Uh, but yeah, through everything, the bare minimum, you will 1 billion percent, 1 billion percent be able to clear out the uh, crystals. So again, how you should always do it is go in order of the most like priority things. These three things you need. You need to buy these things right away. And these are the three things to focus on, obviously. Again, it's only 1,500, and I'm, I'm almost certain that the like first two, three challenges will give you 1,500. You then will just slide to the skins, which is 2,000 only. They've nerfed the cost for a purpose. Uh, by the way, it's not actually just 1,500, it's 2,000, because again, this is a thousand over here because it's two purchases. Uh, so a thousand and then a thousand over here. So two thousand for seven thousand crystals. Do those first. Hundred percent, you'll be able to clear that. And one billion percent, you'll probably be able to clear these two, uh, just because of the way that it's going with this event. Um, we always saw it. Like when we when we always go through it. Like the main kind of uh, payout really is this stuff uh, being the missions and the champions and then this over here and then they keep on uh, extending, right? So those like the main focuses, but. Yeah, you'll 100% be able to beat it. Don't worry about, like, the paywall thing. I've seen a lot of people spamming. Oh, my God. Go, go. They made the event pay to win. It's all over. Uh, but some of my friends that are playing, right? I wasn't able to play yesterday, but... A lot of my friends that are playing definitely already uh, completed it and bought the crystals 100%. And they still have a lot of missions left to buy the skins. Um, so, free to play, by the way. You can definitely... Uh, definitely unlock this stuff. The like the things after like the the skins aren't even that worth it. Like look at it, right? If you were to go to the uh, the right here, I have to scroll on PC. It's different. Um, I thought it was like just drag and slide. No. So over here on the agency points, it's 100 for this. It's 200 for this. 300 for this. Go over here, 100, 200, 400. Like these things are more so if you were to be scared, like just lose these things. They're not really like too important. I mean, these things over here for people that want to like really push their agency, but just get like the most priority stuff. Go for crystals, go for them first. Make sure you can buy your battle pass and everything. Uh, the shop did get um, updated, right? 
Did it get reset though? Did they add the new one in? If we were to check the shop, I don't know if they added the new one. Yes, they did. So there, this is the next pack, I think. Correct? No, it's gone. Oh yeah, they removed it. It didn't get updated. So yeah, you only have two per season. I thought they said they're gonna do it two times per season. Maybe later on, maybe mid season, maybe then. But um, yeah, this is the 1200. So you do not, do not wanna buy this. You have to buy this only on discount, which is uh, 8,000. This clearly is not 8,000, bro. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I thought they'd upgrade it. Don't buy this either. This is useless. Only buy it when it's 8,000, right? Because again, a multi here is 10,000. So it's not worth it. But yeah, they didn't update it. I'm, I'm shocked. I thought they would. I thought they always do it right, like right after, right? I don't know. Am I wrong? Someone in the comments check that because I swear they always do it, right? But um, yeah, again, these are the uh, ones with the benefits. Again, if you have those, uh, you get more missions done. If you don't, so what? You'll be able to complete it. Have fun with it. Event is pretty easy. It's a mission event. Grab those things. Buy the license if you want to. That's always the best idea. Uh, or again, save for the next event. If we have one of those discounts, we had like seven of those discounts for New Year's, but uh, so far with this season, they haven't launched any more of those discounts. But again, that's the shop. Again, just main, um, kind of focus these three things, then focus these four things, and you're done. Very standard event. Very quick event. So nothing to worry about there. Cool cool for those asking about this constantly yes we do have a brand new event coming soon i'll talk about this as we get there closer because uh, there's a lot of information floating around about this so i'll try to gather it together but the next event is officially called the agency event uh it has this currency but it's not like a usual event apparently this is far different and it's also called the agency event it's the volume one of this so it's a brand new event it's coming soon it's going to be planned i'm guessing with the launch um or it's after twice way after twice actually so when twice launches two weeks later than this drops but we have time to see this event people, uh, people keep asking me is a battle event coming this season to give us more crystals the only thing that i can tell you is this okay um i can't answer that question because no there is no battle event the event replacing the battle event is this the battle event is the only other event in the game that actually gives you uh that currency being crystals so if they went and basically removed that by implementing this agency event i'd rather never get agency event again because it's pointless right you need crystals so that's just their other way of nerfing crystals even further like again last season you, you saw clearly they nerfed the battle event uh, ver uh versus what it was in the first season so if they go outright just removing it that sucks but that is something to complain about later on 306 we'll all complain together and see what happens but this is what's coming soon. It is, again, the agency event, the first of its kind. It apparently is going to be a different system than anything we've seen in the game, um, basically being, you know, what mission event is, drop event, and battle event. It's its own event, um, kind of following a different style, where some of the rewards are going to be very hard to obtain. I'll talk about this as we, uh, as I gather all the information uh, to share with you, because it's all in <laughs> separate areas. But uh, with this event, again, they better bring back that crystal currency uh, because they're replacing battle event this season. We already had our drop event, which is a standard. We have no more event other than agency for the season. So again, if they don't put crystals in the agency event, you only got 7,000 crystals for the entire season, which is uh, far from the usual original. Original, 14,000. Now it was last season, 12,000. So again, they nerfed it. Um, but hopefully this season is still the 12,000 uh, because that's like the usual amount, right? That allows you to buy the battle pass plus an 8,000 bundle. So like that's one that's one <laughs> kind of thing per season, which is always welcome. But hopefully, hopefully they haven't nerfed it. Uh, we will find out soon. But again, quick little videos. We want to show you this stuff so you are aware of what's going on. That's the mission event. Quick little breakdown. And uh, no, it's not pay to win. We're fine right now. Um, but yeah, they definitely did add all the skins in there. <laughs> it's definitely rough. But the original one had like two or three skins. The other one had like, I think, four of the uh, event skins. And this one just has <laughs> seven or eight, bro. What the fudge, dude? And yeah, it's where it currently stands. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy. Bit it for me. Quick little video. Thanks for watching.